water, not excess of a wine. Okay, keep reading. And the wine that they should drink, and gave them pulse. Mm -hmm. As for these four children, the Most High gave them knowledge and skill and all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it, yeah. Now go to uh, 2 Maccabees chapter 5 and the last verse. 2 Maccabees chapter 5 and the last verse. Now during the time of the Maccabees, all right, you had uh, decrees given by Antiochus Epiphanes, all right, that anybody that would not follow the ways of the, the heathen or the Greeks, that they was going to be put to death, okay? So you had a man, all right, named Judas Maccabeus, all right, okay, and his brothers, they withstood Antiochus Epiphanes and the Greeks, all right, in the Greekish fashion, because we got a lot of these, these uh, Hellenistic uh, niggas out here, all right, that's all into that Greek fraternity madness, which basically, they, they the same spirits. They the same spirits. But Judas Maccabees and them, they stood up for the uh, the righteousness of the laws, statutes, and commandments, and they refused to eat or, the, uh, or partake in any of the feasts, because all they was eating was unclean meats, mainly swine. Let me read verse uh, 27. 2 uh, Maccabees chapter 5, verse 27. But Judas Maccabees, with nine others of their thereabout, withdrew himself into the wilderness uh -huh. and lived in the mountains after the manner of the beasts. And his company fed on herbs continually, lest they should be partakers of, of the pollution. Of uh, the pollution? What was that? Eating uh, these unclean meats or unclean foods that was being highly uh, taken taken in by our people. Because our people, when they go to 1 Maccabees 1 and 11, it's going to go into it. They actually paid Antiochus Epiphanes to become heathens, okay, before he started imposing it on, on our people, okay? Those days went out Israel wicked men. Wicked men. Alright. Keep reading. Who uh persuade many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that they're that are round about us. Let's yeah. And you see that, you see that in all levels uh today, from from uh false Israelites calling themselves Israelites, that's uh, endorsing the ways of America, alright? Or pacifying their congregation from the, uh, the 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 pureness of the truth, they want to dilute it, like uh, uh, the car of the gathering of, of Christ's church, which demon bubbleized the black demon. Then you got uh, Nathaniel seven and Israel united in uh, Christ and his crew, which we call him Nathaniel eleven. All right, and his madness. Okay, and many other oh, General Yohanna and ISUPK. Okay, and their group preaching basically the same stuff that this society is preaching. Okay, because they've been franchised, meaning they have a 501c3 charter tax exempt uh, uh, charter, basically. And they can't teach what the Bible says, which means to condemn the society and those that love it. Okay, they're going to teach what the government wants them to teach, just like these wicked men, because they sold out. And the same with these colleges, with these uh, different fraternities and sororities, and them deans and, and uh, help me out, and uh, presidents of these uh, particular uh, colleges, black colleges, any college or university, they all uh, paid off and bought, man. All right, they're juiced in. They're either Masons, high-level Masons, all right? And a lot of these Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that join fraternities or sororities, it's, it's for them to get inaugurated into becoming Masons. Or Eastern stars, okay, which that's all wickedness and witchcraft, man. And the Lord gonna deal with them, okay? Uh, Daniel 7 The heathen that are round about us, for since we departed from them, we have much sorrow. Yeah. So this device pleased them well, 
Then certain of the people were so uh, bored herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the orders of the heathen. Where, whereupon they built a place for exercise at Jerusalem according to the custom of the heathen. They made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. So to do mischief, okay? All right. They said they built a gymnasium. Now, that's, that's the main thing they push on our people in this society. Now, we got an example in the scriptures that our people was uh, known for their wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? Not just their physical attributes, their ability to run and jump high and throw and do this and that, all right? Our people was intelligent, all right? But once they started following them Greeks, all right, which those were Caucasians back then, all right? And this was during the time of Antiochus Epiphanes, all right? Okay? They, they sold out. They went to them to become like them. They wanted to become heathens, okay? And back then, when you look up that word gym, all right, which is gymnos, all right, it means to exercise naked. And that's what they did back then. And it's almost like that now when you go to the gym, because these people wear all these tight, revealing clothing, and they look naked. And it's even like that in the Olympics. It happened in California. People was riding bi bicycles, but 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 ass naked. Yeah. Exercising butt naked. Showing that America is nothing more than the uh, revival of the Gre Greco-Roman Empire. Because the Romans got all their customs and uh, philosophies and, and everything, their way of life from the Greeks. They just switched up the names of the, of the gods. They named them after planets and not after uh, the Greek uh, names. Okay? Like Zeus was the Greek form. Of uh of their god, which in Rome it was it was called Jupiter, which they worship that same uh same deity to this day here in America. And when your president is inaugurated, all right, thanks to that brother from uh, Columbus, he went in about that. He's becoming a high priest of Jupiter. So your president is actually a false prophet because he's the high priest or the interpreter of the will of Jupiter when he go up there and he's inaugurated as president. Okay, showing that this place is the uh, revival of the Greco-Roman Empire. So you had our people going wholeheartedly becoming heathens, and you see that all is running rapid now here in the United States. Simple ass nigga, man. Okay, all right. So I just wanted to pull out that. Oh, go to uh, back to First Maccabees. Go to verse forty-one and read down. First Maccabees chapter 1 verse 41 Moreover King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and everyone should leave his laws. And that's what you have here in the United States. When Obama makes uh, his, his, his daily announcements to the people or weekly or whatever he does it okay he always mentioned talking about out of uh, he always saying either in Latin about all the nations is one. We're one big family. Okay? All right? He's pushing that vibration. He want everybody to be one. I.e., that, that ain't nothing new with these people talking about conspiracy theorists or whatever is talking about New World Order. It's nothing new about that. They've been trying to establish that since the time of Nimrod back after the flood when they erected uh, ancient Babylon. And they tried to do it during the time of Nebuchadnezzar. All right, when he set up the golden image. You can read that in Daniel chapter 3. They tried to establish that during the time of the Persians. All right? And the Medes. And then they try to establish that as the Greeks. Is what we're reading about. And they soon going to try to establish that very soon here in the United States and around the world. Okay? But they, they have indoctrinating you people to accept it. All right? So that when they bring it out, it ain't going to be uh, nothing new to them. They just going to willingly take it like it's going to say. Keep reading. And everyone should leave his laws. Yep. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yeah, so you see that. You see that you might have some some family that come from help me out from um from South Africa. Okay? They come to the United States about what the, the second generation of that family, right? If they stay here and they they build a family, right? By the second generation or first and second generation, the children, they act just like Americans. 
They talk like white people. 